and nails so pretty like model cheerleader something pretty hey everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are new my name is Griselda so in today's video I am going to be doing I tried following blanks makeup tutorial I am a little scared because you know, let's be honest, I only know how to follow my makeup routine. And the person that I chose, I will tell you guys why I chose her, because she does makeup completely different than how I do my makeup. I like the application to be a little bit more precise, and she kind of is a little bit more open, and she just kind of goes with the flow, and I feel like it suits her. All her makeup looks are beautiful, they are gorgeous, and I love every single look that she does. The person that I chose is Sandra Deluxe, and I will tell you guys why I chose her. Because she does her foundation concealer, sometimes her eye makeup with her fingers. I find it very challenging for me to do that, not only because I know that I'm such a perfectionist, I'm such a perfectionist and I love just having control of my makeup and where the application is and she kind of just goes with the flow and then just knows her face and knows what works for her and I personally can't do that. I will also link her YouTube right down below just so you guys can check her out because she is amazing. She's such a beautiful person. I actually chose this um, makeup look. It's a holiday purple makeup look. I know we're not in the holidays, but I just love how she, this makeup look came out and she just She just looks so beautiful So if you want to see how I follow Sandra Deluxe makeup look make sure to subscribe to my channel Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your notifications So you get notified every single time I upload and without further ado, let's get started with this video Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe and today I'm gonna to be showing it's you so how to pretty. get this purple smoky look. So I'll be starting out bare faced and I'm going to go in with my Melanie Mills Body Radiant in Peach Deluxe, my favorite primer because it's moisturizing and gives my skin a nice glow and it kind of blurs the skin as well. Next. Okay, so first she starts off with her Gleam Body Radiance in collab with Melanie Mills. So I do have that and she's just going to go in and apply this all over the face as a primer. I've never tried this as a primer. I feel like I need to put my hair up. I feel like this is going to be one of those situations where it's going to get really messy for me. And I'm just going to put my hair up. Okay, so she put a little bit of this all over the face. So she just says that it helps kind of blur out any imperfections. Um, we'll see how that works for me. And typically, you know, primers I do apply with my fingers, so I don't have an issue with that. The thing that I might have an issue with is the foundation. I definitely feel like I need, I may need just to keep tissue close by. Next with the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation in the shade Cafe, I'm going to blend that on all over with my fingers. This foundation is everything. Definitely recommend it. It is super full coverage. It has hyaluronic acid in it. Some I talked to you guys about this foundation. Um, I'm obsessed with this foundation. I love how full coverage it is. <sighs> Pray for me. I'm gonna have to apply this with my fingers. Okay, let's just start with a little bit. Okay, not too bad. That was dope. Next is my Studio Finish Concealer in NW25 by MAC. I'm going to just highlight under my eyes. I don't even need to use concealer under my eyes because the foundation is real full coverage, but I just wanted to highlight under there a little bit. Give me some brightness, you know? Okay. I definitely agree with her on the high coverage. Um, I'm also going to be using the Studio Finish Concealer. I do find that using your fingers with a concealer kind of melts it in a little bit better on your skin. 
Next with the In Extreme Dimension Highlighter by MAC in Show Glow. This is like a really pretty pink glow. It doesn't really add like a super blinding sheen to the skin, but it adds a little rosiness. So she's using a highlighter and didn't set her under eyes. I don't have that exact color, but I do have, this one is called uh, Beaming Blush. And I also noticed that she applied it with this really huge brush. Let's see how this is gonna work out for me. This one's more on like the goldy undertone. She brought it down the bridge of her nose. Next, with the Caramel Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, I'm going to fill my brows doing my swipeies. This color is a little bit more like of an ashier. Okay, so I don't have the Anastasia Pomade in the shade of Caramel, but I do have the Benefit Cabrow in the shade number four, which is kind of ashy and a little caramel at the same time. Of an ashier color than I'm used to. And because I use my fingers with my foundation, sometimes I get foundation in my eyebrows. So this went like kind of a gray color and I was having a hard time doing my brows. So I recommend, you know, combing through your brows first, which I should have done. But anyways, I did it, it is what it is. It's what I got going with it. Next with the cup. So she kind of just flicks over her hair. I'm trying to stay as true to my shape as possible. Her eyebrows are a little different, like they kind of go out and mine don't. But, well, I feel like that's as good as it's going to get. Kind of give it that stroke that she kind of does. Next with the Colored Rain Very Cute Palette. These palettes are awesome and thanks to my Snapchat fam for helping me choose a palette to use. I'm going to go in with the shade Kiss Berry and my Morphe M541 brush and or sorry M511 brush and I'm going to start. Okay so she goes in with no base. Um I don't have that palette but I do have this ColourPop palette. This is the, doesn't have a name on it. Probably threw the cap away. Made you look palette, so it's this one. I'm gonna be using these two shades right here to kind of mimic that shade there. And I'm also gonna be going in with a blending brush that's very similar to hers with no base. The M541 brush and, or sorry, M511 brush. And I'm gonna start my transition here. And I'm happy I'm doing this. So she just kind of goes in with this color and just back and forth, back and forth. I'm just buffing it all in the crease, bringing it out, kind of following the tail of my brow. And then I'm gonna swipe a bit underneath so that it's nice and rosy, orangey. I don't even know what color this was. I thought it was orange, but it's kind of like a coral pink. Anyways, it's cute. And I'm doing the same thing on the other side. The other side I started on the bottom. This is going to be our transition color. Whoa. Next with the darker shade in the palette, I'm going to use my MAC 239 brush and I'm just tapping it on underneath and on top, kind of in a halo eye shape. I so I don't have that palette, like I said, but I'm just going to be picking and choosing um, colors from different palettes. So I'm going to just go in with this darker shade here. This is from the Morphe palette. This is the Nightmaster 15N palette. I'm just going to grab a flat brush. I feel like this one is pretty similar to the one that she's using and we're just gonna apply oh she kind of went in i like this kind of cool tone purple with the orange i thought it looked really neat kind of like glowing but anyways with shades like this that are really different it's good to kind of get your shape in like i am even though it's messily i'm going to go back in with the pink berry and my brush and just buff over top that way you can kind of messily put on your eyeshadow and you're just blending lots in between with the opposite color so it looks nice and smooth oh. got it okay so apply make a messy and then go back and blend got it whoa that looks like a lot <gasps> and you're just blending lots in between with the opposite color so it looks nice and smooth okay same thing I'm going back and forth layering sometimes you don't need to dip the brush the blending brush again you just want to layer your color on then blend and if you wipe away too much color you can go in and pack some more of that color on 
There you go. It turns from hot mess to yes. Mine still looks like a hot Next mess. Next with this beauty. So we're just gonna keep going. Following your lead, Sandra Deluxe. Next with this beautiful purple shade. I like this because a lot of purples are very ashy and they kind of go bluey or silvery on me. But this is like a nice pinky purple so it shows up as a true vibrant purple on my skin. So this is awesome. I think it's really pretty. Okay, so she's going in with that same brush and that purple shadow. I'm gonna be using, for that purple shadow, I'm gonna be using Promiscuous by Melt. It's a very similar to that. I'm just go in the lid. And just kind of go back and forth. I feel like her shadow is probably like a little bit lighter. I'm just gonna make this work. Buffing over top of the darker shade. I did the darker shade underneath just so that this has a little bit more movement. Sometimes if you just go in and try and add shape with a frosty color, it gets lost. So it's important to have a little bit of body under there. I'm gonna buff it out again. Okay, so now she goes back in and kind of buffs that out with that same blending brush. Yeah, this looks a mess. With the lightest kind of rose gold shade, I'm going to go right in the center of my eye just to tap and in the inner corners of my eyes. So I'm going to pick up this golder shade here and I'm just going to use, I'm, I picked up a smaller brush because that brush I feel like it was too big for me and I'm just going to apply it on top and right in the inner corner. I feel like it's starting to kind of look like it. And with the 24-7 Glide On Liner by Urban Decay in the color Torch, I'm going to fill my waterline. It's kind of like the same color story as our transition color that we use, so thought it'd be kind of cool. So I don't have a shade like that or similar. Um, the closest one would be something like this. Um, so this one is by Melt. I'm just going to apply that in my waterline and see how that comes out because I don't think it's going to be as close. I feel like that's as good as it's gonna get. Again, talking about we're doing things in a weird order, I decided to put mascara on because that's what I usually do. I usually complete my skin before I do my eyes. So anyways, I'm going on with my mac. So I'm gonna coat my lashes first and I'm gonna use that exact same mascara. This is the MAC Extended Play Mascara. I'm just gonna do a small coat. I'm going with my MAC Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish, and this is a brush by MAC. It's a newer one, the 140. So I'm going to be using that same brush, and um, not, I don't have the Dark Deep, but I'm going to go in with this uh, Compassion Matte Bronzer by MAC, uh, and I'm just going to apply that. She kind of just goes in. S, I think it's called. Anywho, contouring the cheeks by pressing lightly into the hollows of my cheeks and bronzing. Same thing on the forehead. Kind of just goes in kind of pressing the brush flat on its stomach and then just following her steps guys I feel like this makeup look that I did looks nothing in comparison to how she does her makeup Next with Love Thing Blush by MAC, to memorialized blush, I'm going to softly rosy the cheeks and... So I don't have that blush, but I do have um, Orgasm by NARS, and I'm going to pick up that same brush. Girl, you are trying me today. I actually do like this brush for kind of like an all over application. I was I usually use like the tip of it and kind of just like contour my cheeks but she kind of places the, the brush on her stomach and just goes in and with my lash Mopolitan Esquito lashes I'm going to for lashes I'm going to be using the Miami lashes by Lily lashes she uses her fingers 
And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I always use tweezers to apply lashes. So please, so help me God. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I can't ever use my fingers to apply lashes. I always have to use tweezers. Sandra, you are trying me today. Oh. Where we have one lash on. Hopefully it's on. All the way. Next with my plum lip liner by MAC, I'm going to line my lips. I kind of wanted to follow the same color story as my eyes going from like kind of plummy tones to coral tones, but I neutralized it a bit for the lips. So using this as my lip liner, a very cool lip liner, cool toned. Okay. So we're going to use plum lip liner. She just outlined like the outer part of her lips. Then for our warm shade, I'm going in with the kind of sexy lipstick by MAC. Going in the center, it's kind of like a warm nude, kind of peachy. I don't have kind of sexy, but I do have this one is by MAC and it's called Doe. Um, it's also very nude, very similar to that shade. So you're just going to apply that all over. And then going in the center with gel lipstick to give it a little bit of a sheen. And that's... How I don't have gel, but I am going to be using something that's super similar. This was also by MAC. And I'm just going to put that over top. Just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. All right, everyone. So this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup challenge because I will say this was definitely a challenge for me i still kind of cringe at the fact that i had to apply my foundation with my fingers and not being able to use a beauty blender but to be honest with you it actually doesn't look bad i thought it was going to be a complete disaster just being honest here i love sandra she looks absolutely beautiful every single time i see her in person her skin looks flawless her makeup it just everything about her is just beautiful and i just thought that it would be a good challenge for me to follow because it's definitely making me step outside my comfort zone doing things that i would never think of doing on myself or on someone else so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to her channel because she's definitely an amazing amazing artist definitely very educational but we do have two different makeup routines and she looks beautiful the way that she does her own makeup and i have my own way of doing my own makeup so don't forget to subscribe to her channel and let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more of these videos and i will see you guys in my next video